Tannehill's in the gun. He's got Henry on his left hip. Blitz coming. Tannehill firing. Pass caught. A.J. Brown at the 15. A.J. Brown's performance on Monday should come as a shock to no one. After all, production is what number 11 has been all about in his first two years as a Tennessee Titans wide receiver. Rob Moore has seen every one of Brown's snaps since he came into the NFL, so he's hardly shocked by what happened on Monday. AJ is, he's phenomenal because he's almost ambidextrous in both hands in terms of he, he's equal. You know, most of us are, are either right hand dominant or left hand dominant. He can catch the ball with either hand and, and not bat an eyelash. AJ's strengths are uh, hands down his play strength, his ability to catch the football, uh, his ability to make contested catches, and his ability to run after the catch. The thing I enjoy most about coaching AJ is he's so coachable. I mean, there's nothing he won't do. Uh, he's extremely curious as a player. You know, always trying to find new ways to get better. 12 o'clock at night, I'll get a text message for it of a video of, of some drill he saw that, that he likes. He's always, you know, you know, searching, find different ways to get better. And uh, you love players with that kind of curiosity. I think the biggest improvement is AJ knows who he is as a, as a player now, in terms of what his identity is and what makes him who he is. His first couple of years, he's trying to figure it out. And I think now he really truly understands who he is as a player, what his strengths are. Um, and he's constantly working on and develop those things uh, that he wants to get better at. We all have our favorite plays from our favorite players. You have your favorite Derrick Henry run or Ryan Tannehill pass or Kevin Byard interception. For A.J. Brown, there have been many special plays early in his career, but for everyone, just one play stands out. Oh, without question, it's the Baltimore game. Tannehill looks, fires, Brown makes the catch at the 10, spinning, driving his way to the 5, oh, into the wow, end zone. Wow. How did he do it? Wow! Touchdown Titans, Arthur, one, Brown, carrying them. Where well, he broke inside and, 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 and caught the, uh, the now route and uh, basically put the team on his back and got in the end zone. What people got to understand is up to that point, you know, he was, wasn't playing all that great either. So he knew it was a moment in the game. We needed him to step up big. He was disappointed how he was playing, and he overcame that, made a play for us, and then continued to play that way the duration of the game. So, you know, he's a guy that when he turns it on, you're special. When you watch his hand-eye coordination and how you go out watch practice and watch him catch the ball with one hand, with both hands, and all those things, you play catch with him, you can see the velocity on the ball. You see how he can track the deep ball and, and, and just, you know, the football in general. All those things lend to being a great baseball player. And then when you look at his power and his strength, you know, he's a guy who, who could probably knock it out of the park as well. You know, this is his life and, 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 and everything he does revolves around that. Um, so I'm not surprised by that. Anytime you have guys that have that kind of talent and ability and love football, usually you're going to have some success.